What's up, adventurers? Welcome to my little corner where I actually record my auditions. I'm an actor, so I have to have a clear wall open. The rest of my office is a little crazy, but I am here because I have a review for something that needs a little bit of space, and it is this guy. So you know me, I am a super simple dude. I like things to be really easy to work with, durable, things that will last long, and that will just not cause any trouble and have a really low learning curve. Right now, the tripod that I use is this old tripod that I found in the back of my dad's closet. I'm pretty sure it's from like the 90s or late 80s or something like that. But I thought, man, it's about time that I get a new one. So when I reached out to Manfrotto, I had a couple requirements as to what I was looking for, and this is what they were. I wanted it to be lightweight, really easy to use, something I could use both for photography and videography, and something great for travel. And what they came back with was the Manfrotto Be Free 3-Way Live. I got really excited when it came in the mail because it was in a smaller than expected package and it was very lightweight, which are two things that I was really looking for. So before really getting into this, let's go over some of the basics. The load capacity of this thing is 13.23 pounds, which is more than what my usually kit is. I'm either using an X100V, and rarely am I using this on a tripod, or the XS10, the Fujifilm XS10, which is on the old tripod right now, which I will be not need to use for a while. The maximum height is 59.4 inches, so right here with along with the top head part. And the minimum height is 16.5 inches. The clothes length is 15.7 inches and the legs are made of aluminum alloy that is very durable but also very light and it is 4.34 pounds total. So it is pretty darn light. So there are a lot of things to like about this thing, especially if you're like me and you're a traveler or somebody who's always on the go and just needs something really light that needs to be moved around all the time. One thing that I was like really struggling with when finding a tripod was that most of the video tripods were all just super heavy duty. They were really, they had really big heads um, and they, you know, if I wanted that kind of that smooth drag, fluid drag system, I had to have a really big um, tripod head, but this thing is so well designed. It's really little and it's really well thought out. So as you know nowadays, everybody is shooting things in vertical and so I I was really excited about this like really quick. Look at that. And these rubberized handles are really comfortable. They're really ergonomically very nice. So they're kind of uh, they're kind of like flattened out like this. So when you grip it by your hand, it's not just a circle. You can like really hold on to the grip and just move it really smoothly, loosen it and tighten it really nicely like that. And it's the same for this handle as well, the side one right here. You can also change the angle of these handles. So if you're shooting a video and you just need a weird angle, you can unlock it. You can unlock it right here, move it around however you need it, and lock it back up. And this is all just really easy, just on the go quick things when you're just trying to do something and they're super intuitive. The head also has three leveling bubbles. So it has two here on the backs of the, the tripod head and then one up here so that you can make sure this is level, which is always very useful. The old tripod that I'm using over here does not have a leveling head. And to raise the head, all you have to do is loosen it right here. It goes like that. The design of the head also supports a couple different types of plates. It supports video plates as well as photography plates and you can loosen it super, super wide for those video, huge video plates and then smaller for the plates for the photography. Yeah, so this is a very versatile and useful design. Ooh. Talking is hard. This knob is for the fluid drag system, so you loosen this guy up and it allows you to loosen it and you can tighten it if you need it to be steady for pictures or anything like that. Moving down the tripod a little bit, we have a hook here so that you can add a little bit of weight to this tripod. Sometimes you might have a bigger lens or something like that and you just need more weight, you can hang it right there. This also has the Easy Link system, which is used for, um, you know, when you have a monitor, when you're doing video and you want to add a monitor or maybe even like a microphone or something like that, you can buy the attachment and have a monitor system right here or a, a mic to the side if you just need more space like that. I don't have those things and usually because I'm still on the go I try to reduce the amount of things I have to add to it so I don't need it but it's definitely nice to have the option here to have that. Moving further down the legs have the lock mechanism right here 
So you can loosen it up and lock it in place. And then it also goes all the way up for when you need to fold it back together to pack it up. So that's really nice and it's really easy to press down on. And what I really like is this rubber handle here to hold on to the tripod so that it doesn't slip. And when you're folding it up, it's a nice little handle to have there. And like I said, the legs are made of aluminum alloy, aluminum alloy, so that um, they're super lightweight but also very durable. And the legs kind of clip, they have the clip legs things, and then when you release them, you can just, it falls out really quickly. Nice like that. So what I'm going to do now is fold it back together and show you how it looks once it is compact, which is a big thing that I was looking for, something that was super compact. That super quick. And I'll move this. I think, so for here, this is for when you pack it up, you can move the leg back, or the head like that. And I'll keep the handles out of the way. Move the head like that. And you can fold the leg into the head. And move this all the way up. This. Come on, button. Sorry, guys, this is my first time doing this really quickly. Like that. And we're good. And this is the setup. Man, it's so nice. This is actually the first time I'm holding it up, besides the first time that I got it. So that was really quick. I'm actually, I didn't adjust it properly, but this is how, how long it is. About the length of my arm. Ooh. I'm excited to take this guy out on the road. It's going to be really simple to pack up. I'm not going to have to worry about too much. And I just love that it folds up so small. And just having the knowledge that I don't have to compromise, whether it's a, a tripod for video specifically or for photography, I don't have to be like, hey, what am I going to do more of? What, what do I have to sacrifice here and there? I have everything that I need in one package. I also audition on the road too. So just having a tripod that is super versatile is so important. And usually I'm just shooting YouTube videos or shooting um, just quick things here and there or reels nowadays and TikToks and you know just having this option is so huge. Thanks guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed that review. If you guys have one of these, let me know how it's been for you guys. And if you have any more questions, be sure to leave it down below. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it for you. Um, I'm not too afraid of saying that I don't know something. And um, let me know what you like about this tripod. Personally, I just, I mean, the freaking video head is just amazing on this thing. Thanks, I'm gonna shoot some B-roll so that I can add it to this video, and I'll see you guys on another review.